Okay, stage two of getting the big new thousand litre bio filter uh, together. We're trying to do this on a really tight budget, so we're using a very coarse media at the bottom, sort of like bio balls, but uh, I only like it really because they're round. But we're changing that. What we've got is tennis balls. Uh, a friend of mine, Rick Willsmore, Scarborough Tennis Club, uh, Tennis Academy, I believe. He's donated 80 balls. In the box we're cutting those in half because we want to increase the um, surface area uh, give them two sides um, so they'll be sitting at the bottom of the thousand liter tank so my wife's using a Stanley to cut them I'm using the saw there um, and we're just really hoping it works because we need some sort of coarse media at the bottom to uh, allow the water to flow through, no blockages, and for the microbacterial activity to thrive. Let's hope, oh, better get my wife's head in the shot. Uh, let's hope that it works. <laughs> We've been going all day trying to get this uh, new thousand litre microbacterial uh, super duper filter going. Um, all the plumbing's in, the wiring's in. I'm just preparing the, uh, the stuff for down the bottom of the filter. We've got tennis balls cut in half, they're over there. Sorry about going there. And the other part we're going to use is PVC piping. I've just got a whole heap of old piping. I'm cutting it up all different size lengths. That's going to mix with the tennis balls. going to give us around 200 mil of um, medium down the bottom of the tank. Over that we're going to lay fibre, shade cloth and a whole heap of other stuff. I'll show you all that later on. Okay, back into it. The biofilter is finally in action. We've got uh, all the plumbing here. You can see the water pumping uh, back into the pool there. So that's coming back from the biofilter. Uh, you can see the small black pipe. That's the, uh, the intake to the biofilter. There's a pump there. Um, we've got uh, electricity running to it, obviously. And there's also a spare pipe there in case I want to hook into the main plumbing over here. Uh, over there, we've got our pipes coming back in. I can hook that up there, not, not that one draining, the small 25 on there, I can run a flexi pipe through the water and into there to run extra water into there in case I want to run the whole uh, pond system water through there a lot quicker than what the smaller pump will do. We've got about 18,000 litres of water here now, so uh, yeah. Anyway, it's all in operation now. In the foreground, you can actually see our medium. This is just our coarse medium for the bottom of the 1,000 litre uh, biofilter. I wanted to get out of this on a real tight budget. Well, because I don't want to spend any more money on this damn thing until I get uh, some decent fish and uh, crop from it. But anyway, we've got tennis balls. We cut them in half, 80 balls in half. We were then worried that we would end up with some anaerobic bacteria, so we punched a hole in it. You can see there. So just in case it was sitting that way and we didn't want water sitting in there. So, and then we've used PVC piping, obviously I've just cut them all to different lengths. Now the whole idea there is for that just to sit in this section uh, where the drain hole is um, to you know, make sure that uh, it doesn't clog up in time and cause any issues. So to stop all that stuff disappearing down the hole, uh, we've used a rake, that's a garden rake, you can see it there, it's just one of those little narrow ones, so that's just stopping all the little bits and pieces disappearing down the hole. That water there is flowing through quite nicely, over this we're going to use uh, you know, a combination of shade cloth and uh, fine fibre um, foam that I've uh, picked up. Uh, that's suitable with water and we're going to have some layers across the top um, as just sort of like pre-filters for uh, any filament and algae and so forth so I'll show you all that on the next video and uh, we got out of this for uh, basically under a hundred bucks so let's assume it works then I'm pretty wrapped 
Now, this is the uh, biofilter half built in the bottom. We've got all the uh, tennis balls and the PVC piping, which uh, should give really good drainage, no blockages at the bottom, and also hopefully somewhere for the uh, beneficial bacteria to harbour. Now, we've also got this foam. Damn, the piece I had as a demo. It's fine fibrous foam anyway. You can probably see it there. It is uh, nice and, uh, well, it's fine enough for the bacteria to hold on to but um, coarse enough for the water to flow through easily. So we picked up a couple of bags of that from a uh, foam shop, second hands, just off cuts. So one bag's in there, big bags. We're gonna now lay a uh, whole heap of scrunched up uh, shade cloth. So again, lots of um, surface area for the bacteria to hang on to. Um, but you know, free enough, open enough for the water to drain through freely. So. And this is the pump, pumping it in obviously. This is the water that my wife's gorgeous hand there is waving around. Isn't that a beautiful hand? Oh, she's got a stick. She's gonna hit me with it. And so the shade cloth, well I've got some rolls, excuse me, while I zoom around over here. The big uh, roll there left over from the uh, landscaping days. So we're gonna be cutting that up. And at the very top, we're gonna uh, cut that up uh, into sections and have that like as a pre-filter so that uh, you know we're gonna be able to just lift those out easily and, and clean them out. So as you can see, there's a little demo of some of the filament algae that we're uh, dealing with. Looks like a big, uh, um, yeah, horse crater. Anyway, it's algal boom. But the water is getting better. There it is. Get some fresh green algae growing over the uh, Barramundi floating cage but it will all be under control very very soon.